What's going on champions, I'm Brutalizer. Today we're gonna to take a look at Lines in the Sand, which is Act 5, Chapter 2, Quest 4, and the boss for that is Storm. So we'll go in. All right, so the team we're taking in is Nick, Emma, Warlock, Cap, and Magic. And of course, we do have a couple of synergies in play, so with Warlock, his special attacks generate 70% less power in opponents. With Magic, her attack rating is increased by 50% while in Limbo. So both of those synergies are on Warlock, as you can see here. And secondly, we've got Nick. So all heroes except Nick have a 10% 10 attack rating increase. Now this boost doubles if Nick is dead, which does come in to be quite helpful. But you've also got um, Nick's ability to come back to life after dying. Um, we've got the Limbo ability, which is fantastic. We've got Captain's ability to stun your opponents, which is fantastic. And Warlock, who can regenerate power with his special tree. So the painful fights in this are the spiders. They're always painful, always have been for me. Um, so you've got a section of spiders which I've already done which are just an absolute pain in the bum. You've got Ant-Man, he's very very painful and you have got Magic who is painful and also we have got Nightcrawler. He was an absolute pain in the neck as well. All right, so going into the global nodes. So the global nodes, you've got your third special active, which is pretty straightforward and normal. Got role reversal, so the class relationship is reversed with your champions. Um, we've got masochism, so every seven seconds, the next debuff triggered by the champion is immediately removed. Each time this effect is triggered, they regenerate 5% of their max health, which can be quite painful if you do not have some heavy hitters, bleeders, whatever it may be. And you've got a champion boost, which is a 300% attack and health, and also a heal boost which is just plus 60 percent so on top of the masochism or chism or whatever you want to call it you've got that 60 percent as well which is part of the reason why this becomes a little bit painful so we're going to get into it we'll go straight up against yellow jacket and Regardless of the role reversal, I'm going to take Nick in anyway because he will hopefully bleed Yellow Jacket out nice and quickly. There he goes with the regen, but because we got the bleed on doesn't really matter a great deal. Here he goes, regenerating again. Get a fair bleed on him now. We just want to keep him bleeding as much as possible. That wasn't planned, but anyway. Hit him bleeding again, hit him with another special two. Lucky enough to get a stun on him. 
hopefully he will bleed out. There we go. So yellow jacket is down. And we can move on to Black Widow. Now, throughout this, we're going to also start facing some local nodes, which is going to make this a tiny bit more painful. So then we go to Black Widow. We'll take a quick look at her local node. So her locals, critical damage plus 100 and critical rate plus 28. So I might take Nick in again. We'll see if we can bleed her out. Hopefully she doesn't dodge too much. can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Another five combo. Miss that last one. Right, so now Nick's got his life decoy on. He will bleed just that little bit better. Hopefully this gets it. No, we might be in trouble here. We are in trouble, Nick is down. All right. Might take Warlock in, because Warlock will stop that regeneration. So that is the most painful thing about this. So we've just got to infect her once we get that node rate up to 20. There we go, she's infected. She is not going to regenerate at all now. She's going to try, but it's not going to serve her at all. So that is Black Widow down. I expected to get a little bit further before we lost Nick, but you get that. Got an ambush. Cable. And no local nodes, which is good. So he's just got the globals on. So we've got nothing extra to deal with on this one. So now I'm just going to try get his infection up. And also try getting the fire off that special. So I want to go to special three if I can to regenerate warlock a little bit. All right, here we go. Special three, a little bit late. 12% extra, which is better than nothing. This cable's in, we'll draw his power bar down. Now with cable, you want to avoid making him bleed because the moment you make him bleed, you get a degeneration node up on your champion. Hit him with an SP2, and he's down.
Alrighty, Gamora. This is probably the most painful quest in Act 5, I'd say. It's um, a little bit painful. So, we've got a plus 28 crit rate and also a plus 100 critical damage on top of this fight. Um, we'll go the roll reversal on it. So we'll take him Warlock. Let's see how we go. Got our infection on, which is good. Got to get Warlock to a special three and try to keep her infected as well. Go, Warlock's on a special three, plus twelve damage. Chew her up, spit her out. I don't know why, but that didn't fix our health problem at all. That was not in our favour. But anyway, Gamora's down. Moving on. Warlock is victorious yet again. Warlock is an absolute champion. If you've got Warlock in your roster, sorry, if you've got Warlock at all, and he's just kicking back in the background, as you can see, mine's not duped. And he's just an absolute bloody legend. So, do yourself a favour, get him in your team. Alright, so we have a couple of locals here. We have Transducer, so the, the Defenders rewards more power when struck, but it persistently drains the attacker's power. So that's not ideal. And we've got Plague Mine, attacker's power is drained every 30 seconds. So we've just got to rip out as many specials as we can every 30 seconds. Um, might take in Emma. Could be a bit of a slow fight, but we'll see how we go. So we've got Doc Voodoo who's already got Regen, which is just going to be a little bit painful. Hopefully we can get Emma up to an SP2, and we can. That is beautiful. Love that damage. All right. So she's about to lose her power bar. Let me start again. There we go, she's lost it. We've got to build it back up if we get there. Might get an SP1 on him. No, not even that. Sam is victorious, she did very, very well in that fight. I was quite happy with that actually. Emma's a bit of a dark horse, she sort of just sits in the back there, pulls in some numbers and doesn't really get a great deal of love actually, but anyway. So we've got the same again, we've got Transducer and Plague Mind again for the locals. We'll take Emma in again. The 
fight I'm not looking forward to is the next one. That's going to be quite painful. So I know Magic's Limbo is an absolute pain in this quest. Got that SP2 off with 10 stacks on. Beautiful. Having those 10 stacks of the powers is absolutely amazing when it comes to Emma Frost. There we go, she went to fire off a special and killed herself. So that was a bit of a bonus, a bit of work we didn't have to do. Alright, so we are back. We did have a few technical issues, but we are back. So moving on to magic. That is an absolute pain in the bun fight. You might notice we are currently in a different location as well. We were having a few lighting issues on top of our flat battery on the camera. So, each ability is triggered more often. Buffet node, every seven seconds, she gets a 10% regeneration for the max health if we trigger one of the abilities. Um, yeah. There's nothing easy about this fight at all. It's very, very painful. So we'll go through. We might take Emma in because I reckon they're the prowess or pros or prows or whatever you want to call it. I think that will work in our favour quite a bit in this fight. So we're going in now. All right, so we've got to try build those prowess or prowess up. Try get those up to 10 and try not to hit her on limbo because that's absolutely wrecking us. Just that short little burst then was enough to uh, did it again. All right, hopefully we don't do that again. Hit her with the SP2. that did us no good at all. I was hoping Emma was um, gonna do a bit better than this. Nah, it's all over. I was hoping to squeeze in that SP1 there to um, get a bit more damage on her, but we are KO'd and the show must continue, so moving on. Um, yeah, we'll take Cap in there. I'm not really sure how he's going to go. Hopefully we can SP tour a couple of times and that might sort a bit of our issue out. Yeah, I certainly don't want her bleeding because um, that limbo on bleed is going to chuck all that damage straight back onto myself. She didn't regenerate that time. Oh, yes, she did. All right, got five charges up. Hit a little bit heavy. Wait for that limbo to piss off. All right, go back in. Oh, hold off. Should be able to finish her off. Yep, we got her. She's done in the bag. Beautiful. I thought it was going to take a couple more champions. It did last time. But um, we're a little bit lucky this time. Right, moving on. We've got the doctor himself. I think we'll take... Who are we going to take? So, yeah, he's got the same abilities Magic has. So the 20% the more often, the 10%. 
if we go trigger on his abilities. So hopefully Cap can sort him out. Regeneration from Cap straight off the bat. Which is fine when uh, he's still at 100%. So I think we'll go same as before. We'll try hit him with the uh, SP2. Build those charges up. Got five of those. Nice. That was a fantastic amount of damage right there. I think we've got him. Oh geez, that was very, very close. I thought he was gonna fire off that SP3 then. And that would have really, really sucked. All right, next up. I think we're gonna go the Hulk. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck around with that Spider-Man at all. Cause it's just a pain in the ass. I can't stand Spider-Man. Hate everything about him. As far as fighting against him, because his his dodge ability is is unbelievable. So we're going with Hulk. Uh, yeah, just the optimist and pessimist. So the optimist, as long as he remains below 25%, he gains health, steel, bit of armor up, and a uh, gains fury. And the pessimist. As long as he remains above 75, he's got those same nodes on. So we've got that 50% there in the middle, between 25 and 75, where we can hopefully really wreck him. So we'll take Cap in again and see how we go. Alrighty. We're off. Not really worried about what SP to use here. We'd like to use an SP2, but oh shit. Well, that's not exactly ideal at all. I sort of missed up, messed up there with the Perry. And I guess second time I'm that second little section he got me, I um, was just unlucky. Um, not really liking my chances of magic. Oh dear. Hulk is normally not this much of a pain in the bum, but seem to be having a minute here. Here we go. Nice SP2 on him. Prepare steel action. That was supposed to be an SP2. Not very well timed, I might add. And that wasn't a very well timed parry. But if I had got that SP2 on him, I'm thinking it would have wrecked him. Anyway, moving on. We've got Warlock. Last man standing or last bot or whatever he is, alien. Just a bloody beast. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. My fat thumbs are really fucking this up. Alright, so we're going to have to go in for a team revive. I think I've still got Loki and Storm, if my memory serves me correctly, after this guy. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a two. We'll go back and have a look. So I don't really want to be chucking any health potions on if that's all there is. No, nah, we should be able to get through with this. So we'll go back in. I might take Nick straight in, try to bleed him out quickly, because Nick's um, 
Now on his second lot of life. Should sort him out pretty quickly, hopefully. Yeah, get that five hit in. Another one. He's he's done. Done. Gotta love that bleed on Nick. It's, it's unreal. Unreal. My favourite champion. I'll be ranking him up in a couple of days' time, actually. Take him all the way to the top. I can't wait for that. Next up will be Warlock. I think that I'll take to the top. Alright. Nothing special there on the nodes. Take Nick in and we'll bleed him out quickly. Let's see him we go. Try not to get hit by his SP2. Only got the one bleed on him, but it was the big one, so that's all that matters. And one more bleed should sort him out. No, it didn't. Okay. That did. Thank you, Mother, for the rabbit, Sloki. I don't even think Thor could save him in that one. Nick Fury is just an absolute beast. All right. The boss. Um, got the Limba, the Keltrops. Bit of extra on there. Um... Yeah, so the Keltrops, when we dash backwards on that, it's going to make us bleed for six seconds, which is going to suck. we got the Combo Shield, which the meter is... The meter is not reset after being struck by an attack and checkmate. Attacker ignores armor and evasion with combos of 15 or more. So you've got those few little extra things on top of those global nodes that are already there that I spoke about earlier. But hopefully we can um, nah, just dash back. Didn't bleed. Lucky there. Oh shit, now I'm fucked. Yes, KO'd still standing, ladies and gentlemen. How good is that? Not many people can do that. Nick Fury is the only man on earth who can KO and still stand up. Alright, so Warlock, here we go. We're going in with Warlock. Won't have to worry about that Keltrops now. Dash back until my heart's content. Because he doesn't bleed. So we're going to finish her off with my unsung hero. The only thing I've really got to worry about here is her specials. Getting quite low on health. Hopefully this puts her in the bag, not quite. There we go, she is done. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, unlucky for me. We'll have a quick look at the rewards. So the rewards aren't too bad. I mean, we've got a little bit of energy. A few units there, a couple of fragments, and a four star six stone. Two of those, three of those. All right, so. Yep, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want, and I will see you next time.